I knew that thou wouldst allow these humans to corrupt thee. A dragon? You summoned a dragon? Ha. Huh. One of the few they were able to corrupt, and I turned it against them. Blackstorm defeated it and imprisoned it here. It was trapped. Like me. So now you turned it against me. It is thee who has turned against me. Abandoning me here, left to pay the price for each and all of thy errors in thy stead, whilst I did all I could to help thee to return. And so it is, I am come to the end of my strength. An empty shell or taken with rot. I did not wish to harm thee, but I no longer am master of all that I do. Is that why you killed my companions? The visions? Blame rather thy human half. For that is who hath invoked them, with its fear and its regrets. Thy companions never traveled through the breach. So it comes to this. You and me. It's time we ended this. Ha! It is all I have awaited. Remove these accursed lances from me, and let the world heart become whole once more. The world heart? We made it. Much blood was spilled to bring us here. Let us make sure it was not in vain. Now you are faced with a difficult choice. My people are decimated, and the humans as well. No matter what happens tomorrow, today, virtue is a ruin. We're here, Ratful. This is the world heart. The heart of the one who is just is often plagued with doubts. But it always speaks true at the last. When faced with the ultimate choice, the mercenary will remember his duty. And all will be resolved. The life of the night has been spared by his friend. Now it is the fate of the world that is at stake. The faithful friend will remember his duty. The Ice Lords must perish. So this is what the World Heart looks like. Yes. Terrible and magnificent. Nothing that I ever read could have prepared me for this vision. I just hope that in spite of everything, your knowledge can help me. Because I have absolutely no idea what I should do. Faced with any kind of choice, it is impossible to be sure of making the right decision. No one can see all the consequences of their actions on the future. But what I can tell you is that the entity within you is a piece, a limb, torn from the world heart by its own will. By sending part of itself to Vertiel to inhabit a living body, it knew it would be protected until it was possible to get that part back. But while it was incarnate, the demon saw what we have done to the world. What terrible damage intelligent beings are capable of. Alas, I fear that now it wants to destroy everything. Wipe the face of the world clean of our corruption, rather than risk that it should happen again. You must free Vertiel from the Ice Lords and break their link with the World Heart. But do not abandon us to the demon. If you let him return to his source, he will certainly regain his strength, but all who live will be destroyed. He will take revenge for what men have made him suffer. None will be spared. And you will die. And I want you to live. The flame will burn bright anew, and the necromancers will be the first into the fire. Ice Lords will lose their power. But what will happen to Bertia? Thy world is weary, all but extinguished. 
Nothing remains to be saved. It must be cleansed. But inside me is all the power I need to regenerate my world. At the cost of mine? Do not think it. Vertio needs the world heart. Thou canst not sacrifice it thus. There are still dragons, and this way the necromancers will be destroyed. The fire of the world heart is not completely out. It will burn bright again, in time. But without us, I forbid thee to do this. I will not die for thee. And so ends the tragic, though nonetheless heroic, tale of Vulcan Half-Demon. I confess I may have romanticized some aspects of the story, though in my defense, I shall always have something of a soft spot for our dear Vulcan. By releasing the World Heart's energy to the surface, he sacrificed himself in order to heal Vertiel and bring an end to the long winter. Ill-prepared for such a powerful energy surge, the Ice Lords were instantly reduced to cinders. I can tell you, no tears were shed at that funeral. Of course, it was only a few centuries before other would-be mages attempted to follow in their footsteps. Though what wonderful centuries they were. With Captain Buffalo leading them, the Freeborn Blades legend grew, and they flourished for a time. Sadly, the legend of Buffalo's immortality proved less than accurate, and... After 27 battle wounds and another 40 or so years, he eventually died in his bed, to the great sadness of the three charming young women who were sharing it with him at the time. Edwin's corpse was mutilated and burned by the command of King Relmar. Such a waste. I remember being quite disappointed at his decision, as I had hoped I might be able to inhabit her body. It had been an absolute age since I was last inside a woman. <laughs> to no one's great surprise, Relmar proved to be a formidable monarch. Strong, just, and loved by all. He returned a sense of pride to the elves that the war had stolen from them. The Red Scribes... Oh, really? Don't get me started on those imbeciles. Nonetheless, it would be uncouth of me not to mention how heartbroken young Sybil was by Vulcan's death. Proud to have fought alongside such a courageous companion, the beautiful young scribe lifted her head high and transformed her grief into purpose. She quickly gained the respect of her peers and was elected chief scribe shortly afterwards when Liestas died quite suddenly. Apparently, the fool succumbed after having imbibed a large quantity of a somewhat questionable nectar that he and his doctor had invented. And as for myself, Hmm. Well, my goodness. I fear that is an extremely long story, and you would quite literally die of boredom before I finished the telling of it. But you see, that's what I like so much about mortals. Their stories last just about the right amount of time. It'll take a few decades. And then they're done. And then they come around again. One thing is certain. I have all the time in the world. So who knows? I may get to tell you other tales. If you live long enough, toodle pip. <laughs>